that is sorry. And I'm happy that I ain't got to deal with that. Give me Brock Purdy. Give me over uh, over Jalen Hurts. Give no, me every no, quarterback no. that I got. No, no, no. Every quarterback Stop. that I got. Exactly. I swear to God. Look what I'm trying to tell you, I, man. On Mamas, I will take I will take all my quarterbacks over him. Every last one of them. I ain't bullshit except for Jimmy. Jimmy can go because Jimmy can't. He'll stand there. <laughs> Trey better than him. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Say who else are too. No mind. I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna. Boys I'm gonna are back with you. Yeah, boys are back. Boys are back in town. Boys are finally back in town. My gosh. Always a good heated discussion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Pre-production. Mm -hmm. Keeps the energy going high. Yep. Heading in there. Sometimes it can go left. Sometimes it can go right. Yep. But, yeah. Hey, yeah. Energy. Yeah. Energy, energy, energy. Why you A.O. in there? Yeah, he said he's heading in there. He can go left. We go right. It was a reach, but that's why he did it, though. That's why. That's why he did it. I'm just telling I said, you. All I said, I didn't say you said heading in there. No, no, no. You did. You did say heading anyway, in there. I, got, yeah. I did. Yeah. Oh, we got to rewind. That. Did I say heading in there? Yeah. You said heading in there. No, you go no, left no. or I go right. Going into the game. They just said that. Now that that. No, you, you, no, I know you didn't say the word game. You didn't say. You said heading. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I said go, heading into. The game. Yeah. He said say. heading in there. I had to go back and listen. Okay. All right. That's funny. You don't think you said it. What you got, man? <laughs> Win or lose of the week? Um, <laughs> lose of the week for me? It's San Francisco 49ers, man. Yeah, I agree. Mm. It's the injuries. No, no, no. I'm not blaming yeah, them. Yeah, it's the injuries. Why are you doing all that? Bro, your team didn't even. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked you said it. No, but I'm saying you lost your your, your little drink. You... I'm, I'm shocked you said it. Everybody, it's, 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 it's going to be all right. Yeah. Everybody's going to be fine. Come, out. Injuries, Come on, Carl. You right. Come on, Carl. You right. Yeah, injuries is trash. Weeks. I agree. I agree. That's yeah. my losers whip. Yeah, absolutely. Guy had third. Guy got had a third quarterback out there. Man, down our sixth string. Yeah. Shit, you gotta realize we had just picked up Johnson. I know. Shit. It's crazy. Hate six, to lose six string. Yeah, we're down our six string quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> not, not bullshit. Nobody has a six string quarterback. No, no, I'm trying to tell you. Oh, we, no, nobody, we, we've had, had eight quarterback. I, I since, was since I was sitting here on ice for a long time, but nobody has a fucking six string quarterback. <laughs> At the beginning of the season, <laughs> oh, no, we had eight no, quarterbacks. No, no, you're not going back. I was sitting here cool. Season. I was going to be cool with it. Let him do his thing. <laughs> but ain't nobody got a six string quarterback. Josh <laughs> Johnson is our six string quarterback. Oh shit, <laughs> six man. I, come, that's wrong. That's my fault because I was sitting here on ice and I was. I mean, yeah, I hate to lose in a situation where we didn't have our full deck. That's all. That about. is. It's like that. Yeah, but it was our sixth string quarterback. Oh, well. <laughs> Josh Johnson. Do you look at the beginning I, of the season from our quarterbacks that we signed? All the I don't think I've ever heard sixth string anything. <laughs> he's our That's sixth. That's a hell of a team. Think he was our sixth quarterback. If he doesn't get a concussion, which if it was. No, if he's sorry good. too. He sixth, still wouldn't be wouldn't be able, wouldn't be able to, okay. So you count Trey Lance and Jimmy. That's That would make. Yeah, if you go from Trey the beginning. Trey Lance didn't play all year. No, he played three games. If you go from the beginning of the season <laughs> to the end of the season, Josh Johnson is the sixth quarterback that has played for the San Francisco 49ers. Sixth. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, winner or loser. My winner of the week is I want to give a shout out to the doctors at the uh, Fast Track at Ascension St. Thomas Medical. Hey. They did a great job on your boy. I was in yeah. a, uh, uh, hit and run situation. That they fender did. bender, fender bender. Yeah, I was you know a little little Road bruised there. up, but we are good. Yeah, they did a great job on me. You know, said they're gonna check out the show. So shout out to them, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Lead dog, lead dogs. We up out of there. Yeah, you better yeah. know it. Yeah, Cameron, you ready to get it? Let's get it. Sport press. Yeah. No layup line, no warm ups, no nothing. We just walking right into the stadium, get into the game. Let's do it. When the beat on, then it's on When the right jerseys on the road Cause how we feel where we roam is our home Leaving these other podcasts null and void The show can't miss something like Tom Shepard and Corduroy's Full sport press, you know them boys Jay run the point lock for three And me, I crash the boys Weezy told you that it's paid for Full sport press Greetings and salutations I would like to welcome everybody back and some of you for the first time to the Full Sport Press Podcast, the premier sports podcast for the consummate sports fan. And this is your one-stop shop for all sports-related news and topics. I am Jay Hope. It's your boy, Big Jeff. It's your boy, Weezy. What did you do? Cameraman, how you doing, brother? Head not. Head not. Two heads. Heard you. Yeah. 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 Focus. You what? Okay. Nah, All right. Nah. Hell nah. Um, <laughs> episode four hundred and fifty-four. We are breaking yeah, down do that. Super Bowl fifty-seven. 
Yeah. FSP style. Always oh, FSP style. You better damn know it. Better damn believe. Let's kick it off, Weezy. Best of the week. Let's get it. Best week for me, man. It's hot chicken week. I was doing good, man. I was eating no fried foods and then <laughs> cashed out. <laughs> the cashed out. <laughs> the devil came. The devil was alive, boy. <laughs> hot chicken week came. Mm. Shout out to you. Yeah. yeah. What's so, the favorite chicken that you had this week, my doc? Man, I had. I went to Hendersonville and had slow burn. Slow burn. That's slow burn. Wow. Slow burn's good, man. Slow burn's good. Slow it's burn. hot, hot. It's just, it's it, when you, natural hot chicken is hot, medium, mild. Okay, where you go? Yeah. They it's hot, medium. I always go medium. Okay. Smart man. Sometimes when I go with Jay, he gets he gets regular fried chicken. Huh? I do. I do. I get southern fried. Yeah. I don't like hot shit. You went too. You worried about the wrong thing. He sure did. <laughs> I, I, I didn't go. Yeah. Nah, you should say it because he should have a fit. Y'all went without me? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't talked to Weezy all week. Uh-oh. All yeah, righty. Yeah. She got Carl. Uh, my best. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Do a little detox. My best, um, best of the week was the Royal Rumble, man. Um, if you are a wrestling fan, or if you're just a fan of great storytelling, yep. the Bloodline, Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, the Usos. Man, it's great stuff. Great stuff. Talk of the town. Talk of all sports networks for about two hours to Kyrie win Kyrie. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the bloodline was everywhere, man. It was a great story to end the Royal Rumble. Five hour pay per view though. Let's, let's let's trim that down, Triple A's, and not do that ever again. But yeah, it's a great time. I was looking for it on Sunday, Jeff. It came on Saturday. It came on Saturday. Yeah, they moved it to Saturday nights. Nah, they yeah. got me. Yeah, moved mm-hmm. to Saturday night. Just to avoid no, the football did. shit. Right? No, nope, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. that and because WrestleMania is now two nights. Ah. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday and gotcha. Sunday for WrestleMania. Gotcha. My best of the week is Chase Griffin, UCLA Bruins quarterback Chase Griffin donated 22000 of his NIL money to organizations for awareness about social justice issues in Los Angeles as well as other cities. So clap for him, man. It's a great start to uh, Chase, you know, just figuring out things and what he wants to do long term. Yeah. That's a good start, man. Shout out to Chase Griffin doing good with his NIL money. Worst of the week, right back to me. All right. Um, I will give... Okay, yeah. I'll give my honest opinion. Bad Boys 4 is about to come out, guys. I'll tell you what we don't need. We, and that's we, <laughs> something we don't need. Um, Will Smith confirmed a fourth film in the Bad Boys franchise. I'll be, begin production soon, yeah. considering all things happened to Will Smith in 2021. Yeah. He needs a good payday. Yeah, that too. Um, the main reason it's coming back for a third installment. Is because well, fourth what? installment is because Bad Boys Three made four hundred and twenty-six cool. million dollars in the box office. Gotta go back. <laughs> Got to go back. The original Bad Boy made one hundred and forty-one million, yeah. and then Bad Boys Two in two thousand three took in two hundred and seventy-three million. You gotta go back. So they're going for six. Yeah, yeah. you gotta go back. You gotta go back. <laughs> you gotta go for six. You, you went for both. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Weezy, worst of the week. Worst of the week, man. Is- Kyrie Irving just couldn't. He just couldn't. He was doing really good, wasn't he? Yeah. He's playing good ball. Yeah. Real good ball. I think, let me tell you the start of that. When they gave him them list of demands yeah. to get back, that was the start of it. Yes, sir. That was the start of it. It was yes, disrespect. Sir. Yeah. And we were going to have a full topic about this, but we need to wait and see where he's going to go. Because <laughs> next week we'll know. By we'll time, know. By the time we hear this. Yeah. 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 So we're going to yeah. wait. We're going to wait. Yeah, but that. I'm telling you, it, that was the start of it. Yeah. Then you lowball him. You lowball him. You lowball him. Yeah. Like, he not averaging 27 and 6. Yeah. Some of his best numbers in his career. Yeah. And you give him, you say you don't give him the max. Yeah. Kyrie Irving is a max player, you dog. Give him the max. Man, running the max. Yeah, running the That's max. That's what Drake said. That's what Drake said. Drake said running the max. Yeah. yeah. That's a good call, Weezy, though. I like that. Yeah. Worst of the week, Jeff. Um, here's the thing. I'll make this quick. Hey, DeAndre Sanders, you got to relax. What's she doing? She's going to run a hot angle. DeAndre Sanders on a podcast. DeAndre Sanders is the daughter of Deion Sanders, former coach of Jackson State. Clearly. DeAndre. Yeah, yeah right. Clearly. Um, DeAndre Sanders goes on a podcast. They ask her, why do you think your father left? And I quote, there were liter- literally bodies on the campus. People were getting murdered every week. I saw that. So do you think your father was to feel for his safety? Well, I don't know. I'm not saying that. But there were bodies. There were people murdered on the campus every week. Here's the thing. You're well off as your as your as your brother's record company and clothing mm-hmm. line says. Well you're me. well off. You know mm-hmm. what I mean. Do your thing. Leave us alone. When I say us, I mean people that attended and love HBCUs. Yeah. You got to relax because yeah. you're putting bodies out there that they don't, they, nobody can't find these bodies. Let me tell you what. They and nobody found these bodies. Where the bodies at? at? TSU. They're always near TSU <laughs> yeah. campus. Near TSU, and it'll be all the way up Jefferson Street. Right. 
a mile and a half away. Yeah, man. that's not TSU related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you got she got to chill. Yeah, she got to chill. Come on, I guess she's young. And, and she ain't we, that young. Well, she ain't that young. But she's you know I'm giving I'm giving grace. In college is she? She's no, in college. She's way out of college. No, no, DeAndre's play. She played for Jackson State. No, no, that's Shellam. You're right. You're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah. She's way out of college. She's right. way out of college. Yeah, she got to relax. She know. I'm still giving grace. I still want to give grace. Way but she should know better than that. She might be thirty. But she should know better. She should. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And before we get started with the first half, J Hove and Weezy, do you all have a yellow box of Cheerios for the for the listeners? I do. This week's award recipient is assistant coach Arlisha Boinkins. That's it. Here's a new one, guys. Uh-oh. A 22 year old high school basketball coach <laughs> is out of the job after trying to pass as a 13 year old player in a JV game earlier this month. Yep, you heard me. Arlisha Boinkins, an assistant coach for the Churchland High School Truckers in Virginia, impersonated one of her players who was away from the team for a club basketball tournament. And instead of playing with one less Hooper, Boykins apparently took matters in her own hands and suited up as the student athlete. Miss Boykins was driving the lane for a layup, getting a block, nailing free throws, telling people they're too little, all of the new things that 13-year-olds do. She was fired as a result of the stunt. And the rest of the church and JV's players and parents elected to opt out of the remainder of the season. The 13-year-old's father spoke about the situation, admitting he was indeed shocked that the coach would do such a weird thing. School's investigating the incident, and the student's family is asking for a public apology. Yeah. What makes it even worse, guys? <laughs> the video. The JV team lost that game. Right. You twenty two year old, and you, and you still lost that game. No. You got to go for fifty. She going for she she yelling out and ones and yeah. everything. And one, too small. Like come on, on man. The JV squad. That's, that's on the JV genius. squad. She got it. JV yeah. don't even keep a record of JV. That might be mental. Like she, got that, she get a full blown income tax uh, thing. <laughs> like <laughs> she got W two. What goes to your body say? <laughs> I'm going to be 13 today. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. At 22. At 22. And she got W2 in the mail. Come That's on, crazy, man. man. That's tough, That's man. messed up. I got nothing. No. I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. That's, That's nice. I almost, I almost want to take it there, but I ain't going to nah, take it there. Nah, nah, I know. Nah, I'm nah. just I'm saying. you, though. Know, yeah. I almost want to take but it nah, there. we ain't going to do I that. I said that this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. <laughs> I did. You said, you said yeah. that? You yeah. Said I almost want to take it there. I ain't going to take it there, though. Yeah, no, but I'm telling you, man. That's sick. That video was sick. I said, I'm gonna take it there. Yeah. Let's be honest. I might take it there. Nah, before you. (laughs) (laughs) Now she was. Now she (laughs) dance long. She's a grown ass woman. She's She's 22, bro. (laughs) Playing against 13 year olds. (laughs) (laughs) Her coach. The coach. The head coach. She do not know. She didn't know. If she don't. She didn't know. Head coaches don't come and watch JV. They probably saw her as hell. They don't come to JV. He come on. Come on. Congratulations, the yellow box on the yeah, way for like this If he come in, come on. You guys ready to get Let's started the first it. half? Let's do it. Let's get This is your boy FSP Weezy. Join us each and every Monday on all streaming platforms. And don't forget, everything is paid for. The Revolution will be podcasted. First half, the hottest sports news of the past week, like you do each and every week here at the Full Sport Press Podcast. Before we get started, I am Jay Hope. It's your boy, Big Jeff. It's your boy, Weezy. What did you do? Weezy, where can they find you on social media, my brother? FSP underscore Weezy on IG. I'm at How Weezy on Twitter. Holla at me. Holla at you, Jeff. Jay, mm, Jay Easley 84 across all <laughs> social media platforms. Sure. <laughs> I'm Jay Hope on Instagram and Twitter. Let's talk on Twitter. <laughs> People have been talking about some of the takes. Uh-huh. Go to hell. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, go to hell. Hey, don't feel good, do it. <laughs> you know don't feel good, do it. I'm not yeah. tripping. Now, these are TSU fans. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. It's on your head. Yeah. You got some wild stuff out there, bro. Like, it's TSU a lot. TSU bounced back last night. Yeah, TSU got some Ws. Yeah, but you got some wild stuff out there. Nah, and I'm standing on it. I see. That's the problem. Yeah, no. You said some bad shit, Jeff, over these years. Some very bad. Yeah. We all what I'm saying. I stand on mine. I do too. I'm going to war with mine. <laughs> you should, should back a couple of those back. No, you damn lie. Yeah, 56. Man. <laughs> and, and they was all right here. Oh, Fun fact, lay. Oh, my God. Fun fact, lay. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm damn. Yeah, but he, but he going. <laughs> I'm fine with it. He he, King Leonidas at 300 on that I'm hill. I'm fighting it too. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't care. Yeah, I'm going to fight that. It's y'all. you? 
And Weezy, because Weezy just, you know what I'm saying? Weezy there by, by proxy. Weezy ain't got nothing to do with yeah, that. He just there. Yeah. It's just, I'm that's gonna, all it is. I'm like, getting I'm about you yeah. Marcus Kins will believe me. Marcus hates Marcus hates Giannis. No, he, that don't he, matter. He does. He hates Giannis. He hates Giannis more than you do. Man. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Tricking. I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. I might not be here for that. Oh. bullshit. <laughs> Cause I ain't had people actually call me, be like, "Hey, I believe now. Nah, I'm be, I believe that yoke and shit. That shit gas. That shit all nah, gas." No, that's just cause it, it's it's voter fatigue. That's all. No, nah, it's, it's gas. Oh well, it's one sided. We gonna talk about it's it. It's one sided for sure. Talk about it halftime. All right. Well, let's kick the first half off with some NFL talk. The NFL championship weekend is over, guys. The Eagles and the Chiefs now set on to take one another in Super Bowl 57. Before we get to talk about that in the second half, let's talk about the biggest winners and losers from NFL Championship Sunday, starting with the winners. We will kick things off with you, Easy. Talk to me. Give me a winner or loser from Championship Weekend. Start with the winners. Start with the winner. Well, my winner was Chris Jones. Yeah. He bought. Yeah, Chris he Jones, bought. man. He, he – that might be the best game I've, I've seen him play. Yeah, he yeah. always gets overshadowed by Aaron Donald yeah. over the couple of years. Chris Jones has been balling for a long time. Yeah. So, yeah, he deserves it. Yeah. yeah. What you, what you got, <laughs> I'm going to take mine off the field. Okay. I'm going to go with Patrick Mahomes' dad. Yeah, I ain't know Patrick Mahomes' dad. It was like that. It was like that. Like, that's all I'm going to leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go into what like that means. Oh, you really all know. But who knew? Yeah. Oh, Patrick Mahomes Sr. Yeah. was like that. We didn't know Sr. was We like didn't that. know that. Yeah. But man, that is all right right yeah. there. Yeah. Nah, and yeah. That's and that's it. Anybody put the camera on this black ass? No <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> man, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Uh, my first winner is Marquez Valdez yes, Scanlon. Yeah. MVS. Yeah, MVS, man. Free agent signing for the Chiefs. Last offseason, regular season trash for the total <laughs> of the entire year prior to they struggled, struggled. Then you go into this game, his previous six games, he had 10 passes for 107. He caught 116 on six passes yeah. in the one game, and they needed him the most because all of the other guys were out. Yeah. Three of his other wide receivers gone. Yeah. So you got a rookie, Sky Moore, and you have MVS and the killer, killer trap. Stepped up, man. So, shout out to MVS. Big, big winner. Huge. Huge. Yeah. Moving on to another winner, Wheezy. Talk to me. Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes played one of his biggest – he stepped up, but his instincts just took over. Yeah. On a hurt ankle, clearly. Mm-hmm. He played one of his big – like, that was a big-time moment for me, for yeah. Patrick Mahomes. You said that high ankle sprain was going to be tough for him to yeah. play in it, and he did, man. Yeah, yeah, he outplayed Joe Burrow, for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, he outplayed played right. Joe Burrow. No, nah, yeah, yeah, no, nah, yeah. I, I didn't think he was gonna say it. Man, he outplayed played Joe Burrow. I'm not gonna say that he didn't play good. I ain't never gonna say when. I'm just saying, you know, if you want to crown him, the crown. Him. That's all I'm saying about Patrick Mahomes. All right, yeah. Um, my another, another one I had was Sky Moore. Yeah, Sky Moore. To me, he was drafted as a uh, Swiss Army knife for them as an X factor. Mm -hmm. Didn't really factor, you know, factor in much mm -hmm. in the regular season. But as Jay mentioned, with two to three receivers going down, having to step in, also still return kicks. You know, it didn't make any you – know, I mean, that, that return, mm -hmm. and the last return was huge as far as reception. He just did the right thing in the right spot when Patrick Mahomes needed him. Give me Scott Moore. Yep, yep. Any more winners or we move on to the loop? Pinchero. Uh, I'm not sure, but Chico, the running, the running uh, yeah, back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Other than giving himself a neck stinger on that last run he did. Yes. Other than that, yeah. other than that, when he was called on, that dude runs hard. He man. run hard. He yeah. run hard every time. And then he, I forget who the older running back used to do this. And I, it slips my mind. I had it in my notes, but it got erased. Mm -hmm. But when he goes down, he pops right back up. Mm -hmm. No matter what. He don't stay down. He don't roll around. He when he, Once he gets tackled, he pops right back up. That's his message, man. Yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah. 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 Moving on to the losers. Weezy, talk to me. Give me your first loser. My loser is the NFL refs in oh, it's both terrible. games, man. Yeah, I, that's the worst division championship games on, in both conferences I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, from the missed call on Devontae uh, Smith to the missed call with Patrick. I mean, that just that just the redo a third down. Yeah, the redo a third. Down. Yeah, did you see that the redo? Yeah, I mean, it was a it was, it was, it was a correct was, call. It was but, a correct call, but it was rough to watch though. Yeah. And I've been complaining about officiating for 20 weeks. This has been a bad year of officiating yeah. in the NFL and also the NBA. But, man, yeah, that, a clear drop on Smitty. Yeah. There always should be a a angle that you – It's, that was it's, bad. it's no excuse. There's too many cameras it's out too there. too many yeah. cameras. The NFL yeah. has too, many too much money. Yeah. 
They end with Gamma now. It's too much going on for them not to see that. Mm -hmm. yep. It's too fast going on out there, too complex for perfection. I get that these are humans. They all make mistakes, but I just wish we had better officials what we saw last Sunday. Yeah. Sure. What you got, Joe? Uh, my first loser, and I mean this with all due respect. Yeah, yeah. 49ers. Yeah. Because it just sucks to be that oh, talented. Yeah. To, to be that talented across the board, across everywhere. Across the board. Yeah. And then just the QB positions be snake bitten like that. Yeah. That is nuts, man. Yeah. Like having, and then, t like, if you're playing defense for the 49ers in the second half, you know, we can't win. No. No, because we don't have we don't have anybody to throw the ball. Yeah, we can't even throw the ball. So man, that's yeah. competent. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have a competent quarterback. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You didn't have no, you didn't have a capable quarterback. Like, competent, capable, yeah, cause whatever. Yeah. Poor, what Brock Purdy couldn't even lift his arm up. Yeah, he yeah. out for six months. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Tommy and, John. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's tough. Yeah. Yeah. Chris McCaffrey can't be your run RB one and QB one at the same time. Last year we were snake bitten at running back. Yeah, we got like four running backs for hurt. Yeah. This year we had four quarterbacks to get hurt. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's one of my losers as well. Kyle Shanahan's QB magic. He just ran out of rabbits. A <laughs> lot of the rabbit hat yeah, quarterbacks, man. And injuries, man, were too much for us to overcome. I hate that because we had a world-class defense this year. World-class. We'll lose two players. Um, I hope it's a situation where we can find a cornerback because you know, Jerk and Jalen Hurst was overthrowing people. They were wide open. And um, <laughs> that was another reason. You know, we almost – Lost that game just because of that. So, yeah, man. Yeah, I hate that for Kyle Shanahan because mm -hmm. you don't get a chance with a defense like that. Yeah. Like, anything can happen. Injuries, yeah. free agency, trades. Like, we're going to lose players. Yeah. And, man, it's just hard to do that when you have everything checked off but the quarterback position. That's rough. Yeah. That's rough. Um, another loser, guys. <laughs> All right. So, we went through, you know, the 49ers. Mm -hmm. Joe Burrow. Not that because he didn't play a great game, but my loser is I want to see Joe Burrow not running for his life just once. I've been trying I, to tell. I think yeah. Joe Burrow not running for his life will be fun to watch. Is all I'm gonna say. Yeah, Weezy addressed that though, yeah. right? They got three offensive linemen in the offseason. Yeah. They drafted two and traded and signed for two. Yeah. So those guys got hurt though. Absolutely. And I think what they did, they got a little too cocky when they played Buffalo. Because that pocket was clean against Buffalo because they were missing Von Miller. Oh, it was just snow. Yeah, it was hit. It was snow. Um, anyway, it goes. It they, they didn't touch Joe yeah, we, Burrow we get in that. Buffalo. Yeah, and so we ain't that good either. They were mentally thinking like, okay, we'll be fine. You're going against against a, a real, you know, ferocious defense, and it just showed, man, that you guys. <laughs> now Jamar Chase had six catches for 75 yards. But, they ain't gonna win your Super Bowl. But Nate Sewell, yeah, in Las Vegas, just lock them down catching. Over there. You know, yeah. balloons as a pro bowler. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. It, it, we should never do that again, right? We would, we'd never have to air that pro bowl stuff. That was again. straight, though. It was cool to watch. I, 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 I didn't mind watching it. I didn't mind watching it. I got out of there. Yeah. yeah Especially, it they need to do more skill stuff, though. They don't want yeah. nobody to get hurt. But I got like you. dodgeball and stuff, I don't need to see that. Yeah. But maybe just like throwing competitions or like sprints. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't yeah. understand the whole golf thing. Yeah, the golf thing. That was silly. That was silly. Yeah. Weezy, talk to me. Give me you got another loser. I don't. Okay. I have one more. Okay. It is Joe Mixon. Yes. It was nowhere to be found during that NFL championship Sunday. He had 19 yards on eight rushing attempts. Now, I get it. We talked about that offensive line that was missing holes for Cincinnati, yeah. but he had 105 a week before. Yeah. So, what are you talking about? It was the same offensive line. Yeah. You actually brought one person back. Yeah. And you only had 19 yards? You really needed more production to kind of keep people out of the backfield on Joe Burrow. It became one-dimensional, and then they were just focusing on the pass and resulted in him being hit 12 times, second total five times. And I'm just going to be real and say this. I think T. Higgins is better than Jamar Chase. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. T. Higgins like that. T. Higgins is like that. T. If T. Higgins get more targets – T. Higgins is T. Higgins one. is one. T. Higgins is a wide receiver one. He's the no, one. No, no lie. T. Higgins liked it. I'm telling you, they lucky that they got both of them. Hell, Boyd is good too. Boyd he, is good. He ain't none of them. Boyd, Boyd, let me tell you something. Boyd is a very good wide receiver too, though. Boyd, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Got Boyd, that's what I'm trying to tell you, Boyd. Yeah, you know I trade. I ain't bullshitting. I trade Ayuk for him right now. Hell yeah. 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 If Tyler Boyd He's wide was wide receiver, receiver one in, in Tennessee. Yeah. No, 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 I'm trying to tell you. Tyler Boyd will have 1,000 yards. 
No, that's what I'm trying to tell you. He have a thousand. I need to trade to go get him. He is like that. Like Tyler Boyd is good. T. Higgins like that though. Well, that's my boy. And Chase. Nah, T. Higgins. T. Higgins cold, bro. T. Higgins cold, bro. I'm telling you, T. Higgins. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> I can't. I don't know how you put that. You can't quantify it. You can't quantify it. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the NBA. Wow. Let's move on to the NBA. Mm -hmm. All the All Star starters were named last week. We talked about that, and the reserves were announced this week. There were a few head scratchers. A few a lot. locked. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We. You're right. There were a lot of head scratches, especially yeah. on that Eastern Conference. Jesus. And there were a few locks. Now, what we're going to do here at FSP, we're going to go over a couple of snubs that we feel that were left off and why. Starting with you, Wheezy. Who is your first snub from the Eastern Conference? Jalen Bronson. Okay. Yeah. That should be unanimous. No. It was unanimous everywhere else. No. Yeah. I mean, of course, I get what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah, that's, that's, that's ain't no question. Yeah, yeah he, he's yeah. having a breakout season almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Playing without Luca, doing it in, in New York. Yeah, I, I what average what seventeen? Twenty two. Twenty two. That's even that's even better. Yeah. How high he's not an all star. Yeah, nah. Who doing the voting? Yeah, <laughs> the Knicks are good again because of him, bro. The Knicks are good again because he got a lot to do with yes, it, dog. They do. they do. Yeah, and I get it. You had to choose between the two because one team, for what two players from one team, that's fifth seed. That's why I'm, it's tough. That's why. Yeah, that's exactly. But why. he is an he is elite. He is elite, and he deserved to be. This is the year he deserved to be there. Okay. Yeah. Yes, so that's your yes, your one too. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, my first would be James Harden. Yeah. James Harden should have been an All Star. He should have. Remove Demar Derozan. Remove whomever. Halliburton. I don't care. Remove James Harden was an All Star this year. Philadelphia is in, is is rounding into shape. Yeah, they are the third seed of as recording they are. in the Eastern Conference mm -hmm. as recording after an underwhelming start. After, that's what I said. Rounding into shape after an underwhelming yeah. start. Absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. But yeah. a third seed team could have two members on that team as an All Star. Not a fifth. Not a fifth. Or a sixth. Ain't damn but a third, a third yeah. can have two members. And, and he's playing at an all-star level. Let's be Absolutely. real. Absolutely. Like, he's playing at an all-star level. Yes, sir. He's made 10 straight appearances. I think KD doesn't play. He gets in. Yeah. I think yeah. they'll give it to him before they'll give it to Brunson, which is which sucks. But they'll give it to him before they vote in Brunson. But Harden deserves it 100%. Okay. Yeah. My first person, I agree with both of you guys about both of those clearly, mm -hmm. uh, it's Pascal Siakam, man. Mm -hmm. He's averaging 24 in this season and is the reason that this Raptors team is still around in the playing race. The only reason. I get it. They aren't good this year, but guess what? The Bulls aren't either. We aren't good. Mm -hmm. There aren't too many players mm -hmm. who can play that type of two-way basketball that Pascal Siakam is playing in Toronto, even with them being bad. It's very surprising that he's not in the All-Star game. Pascal's one of those guys. And, um Unfortunately, he's wasting one of his better years in Toronto. Yeah. Good stuff. Weezy, you have another loser? I, I had mean, James Harden winner. also. Yeah. Right. I mean, come on, man. Right. Yeah. I had another. I had one more. You have another winner, Jerry? Yeah, no, no, no. I'll let you clear. It. It's for you. Mm. Nah, we I'll trade a game. Yeah. Ice trade a game. Ice trade a game. For God. <laughs> huh? One more time? Yeah. For God. All right. 27 points a game. Yeah. 10 assists. Yeah. Box office. Here's the thing. He ain't box office, he's, yo. What? Nah, he's box office. What? He's box office. Huh? Wait, huh? You, 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 what are we talking you're about? Too office? much into that. No, too much man. Into that. How? No, 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 no. He's not playing the way he's supposed to be playing. Here's my thing. Know Here's my thing. Even this with your Baka. This is about star. Be real about this your Baka. All right star here. game. Okay. It's the yeah. all star game. Yeah. We want to see showmen. We want to see highlights. We yeah. want to see flair. That is Trey Young. It is all day, every day. Yeah, but you got to play like an all star. But bro. he has. Yeah, in the in the past, bro. This is his worst statistical season ever. We talk. We we've argued about this at nauseum off camera. Yeah, he's a, he's a career forty five percent shooter. He's shooting forty three this year. This year, Joe. He's a career forty five, and he's shooting forty three. Shooting forty two, forty three. He's shooting forty two, forty two point nine. This is what I'm saying. What is three point percent? He shoot fourteen threes a game. What are you shooting at three? I don't know. It's the worst. It's thirty one percent from. He averages a career high in assist, and he has a career high in turnover. Lead the league in turnovers. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I respect. 
respect that. I really respect that. I respect that, though. I respect that. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah that I respect. <laughs> All right, um, Weezy, who do you have on your West Coast? <laughs> my West Coast, my first one is Anthony Edwards. Okay, I like it. Anthony Edwards, he, why is he not All-Star? Can, can we take Paul George out? Yeah, he shouldn't have made it. <laughs> Probably should have made it. <laughs> we replace him with somebody else before we get Ant. They just not winning. The same reason why, you know what I'm saying, like a lot of the players. Yeah, it's just... And he'll get that next year. He'll get that next year. But I like Ant. Yeah. You got that. Okay. My first person <laughs> should be De'Aaron Fox. We got to leave with this. He's a top three seed in the West, dude. Mm-hmm. What'd you say, Jeff, mm-hmm. when we talk about the East? Got to be a top, top three. three seed to have two players. To. That's you it. Two players. That's, that's it. That's it. And considering how Fox he's been on this team, historically bad. He's yeah. still been there fighting, still putting up the same numbers. Yeah. Playing at a high level on a very bad team. They lighting the beam up. Yeah. Essentially, the Western Conference version of the Kings is a situation, man, with the Sixers. Very similar to this. Yeah. You go with one person and you can't bring two in. Yeah. This is the guy you bring in for a second guy, yeah. man. Loaded with guards. I get it. You got Ja, yeah. you got SGA, you yeah. got Dame, you yeah. got Steph. Yeah. He deserves a spot, man. I hope they'll find a way to put this guy back. Into the rotation as a reserve, as a replacement. He deserves. He deserves. Yeah. All right. So, my first for the Western Conference mm-hmm. speaks to what we just said. Number one seed in the West. Should they have two players? Mm. Should have two players. Aaron Gordon should have been an all-star this year. Just off of – his statistics His statistics may not jump off the, the they don't. plate to you, cameraman. But if the gentleman from Memphis um, – his name is Casey. Jaren Jackson, 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 Jackson. If Jaren Jackson Jr. Jr. can make the All Star team this year, that's Eric Gordon's spot. Let me tell you why. That's Eric Gordon's spot. If anybody going in for that Jaren Jackson yeah. Jr., I got a guy, but it ain't Aaron Gordon. It's Eric because he's leading the league in blocks. I know. I understand. That's why. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And, he, and his three point shot is is gotten is getting a little better. Now the numbers in Memphis is getting fudged a little bit. They over there cheating. You see, they in the box keeper oh, yeah. adding some blocks in, yeah, in the area yeah, game. We'll yeah, talk about yeah, that. Yeah. That's how they do in Memphis, but, though. But, it's true to Memphis. Big Memphis. They got all the smoke. Yeah. yeah. They true. They've yeah. been, they been cheating in Memphis. Oh shit. Oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Memphis rough right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God! <laughs> anyway, you got another. You got another. You got another I had the Iron Fox also. Yeah, the Iron Fox. I yeah. got. I got AD man. Ooh, I got AD. Play, he ain't played enough games. Good is if you're gonna pick a big man who's missed some time with some injuries, mm-hmm. instead of Jaron Jackson Jr., you put a guy that's averaging 27 and 12 in 28 games. Yeah. Come on, man. Injuries, I get it. Per usual for AD, that's part of the that's course. Stuff. That's but when stuff. he plays, that's he's phenomenal, stuff, man. Yeah. Give God, me Jaron Jackson Jr. Pop him out. Let's go ahead. Slide AD into that spot, man. My only other West Coast dog, in the, I, I couldn't think of someone who I could remove mm. for him. But I think CJ McCollum should have got some more. Ain't no way. Them boys lost 10 straight. They have, but, they, but he's the only one that's still there. Yeah, yeah. He's the only one that's still there. Jeff, they slide. Oh, they, 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 they it's been your slide. man's fault, too. They been there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta get back. You gotta get back on the court, man. Yeah, you gotta get back on the court, man. You gotta. You can't depend on you. Yeah, it's rough. Availability is part of it. When he when he gonna play? Again? We don't know. <laughs> I don't think Zion gonna play for the All. I don't think he gonna play in the All Star game. I hope not. I hope. I hope not. I hope. No, he gonna be there. Cause He'll be food there. there. Oh my god! Can we go to half time? Can we go to half time? Can we go to half-time? my bad? Yeah, hot chicken week. Yeah, it's hot we- chicken week <laughs> in Utah. It's hot chicken week in Utah. <laughs> That's some racist <laughs> shit. If it's hot chicken week in Utah, if it's hot chicken week on All Star Weekend, yeah. oh, that's racist. Uh, that's man. Right. You guys drink it so we have time. Let's do it. Let's get. Now make sure you check us out on Anchor, iTunes, Facebook, IG, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Beyond Pod, and of course YouTube. To catch up on the full archive of past episodes of FSP, how do you do that? Just search Full Sport Press Podcast. Halftime, we are back with Jeff's NBA Power Rankings and his Player of the Week. Let's do it. Let's get it. All right. So this week, a lot of teams didn't play multiple games this week. And during Well, during the recording window, I should say. Um, so that, take, that, take that into consideration. A lot of top teams did not play to their expectations looking at you Grizzlies. Grizz is trash. They are playing horrible right yeah. now. Yeah. Steven Adams has been gone. That's a lot. Yeah, that's true. That's, that means a lot to them. Yeah. He's their enforcer. Shout out to Shannon Sharp. At number five, the Boston Celtics. Jason Tatum is putting up MVP-esque numbers. 
Um, like take, thirty points last week. Say what happened? No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. What'd ahead. you say? They, they beat the Nets by thirty points. They sure did. They sure did. The reason why the reason why Kyrie Irving is walking away from the Nets at this point. They also had a couple of bad losses during this uh, recording period as well. Again, so again, this was a rough week for a lot of top tier teams. Think, think about that, guys. Before you start showing your emotions. Number four, winners of four of the last six, the Miami Heat. Miami Heat are looking to be dealers at the trade deadline, but as of right now, their team is really starting to form in into shape. I hope, I, I hope they can make one move for a younger piece at point. I think that's what they need. Kyle Lowry, maybe one to two years past the expiration date for him for what they need as a point guard. But as of this, as of the recording of this episode, they had a pretty good week. All right, number three, Cleveland Cavaliers. Big win against the Alpha Mission Grizzlies and the Clippers this week. Clippers were uh, right outside the top five. They were honorable mention this week. And they now have Donovan Mitchell back, even though he got put uh, ejected from the game from pushing uh, uh, Dylan Brooks from the Grizzlies. That's a whole other story. Mm -hmm. um, they have uh, All-Star in Mitchell, a snub-esque All-Star in Garland, and one of the best front courts you're going to find in the NBA. So shout out to the young Cavs. Number two, 76ers are now title contenders, people. Read and weep. Embiid, is, I'm going to talk about Embiid a little more later, so just pause on Embiid right now. James Harden is playing well. Tyrese Maxey is embracing his role off the bench. He's come around and into form. They have shooters all around. This is a fun team to watch. And don't look now. Tobias Harris is actually playing functional basketball. Mm -hmm. What do you know? What do you know? And at number one, Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. What, what, what? A all star player returning, two time MVP returning, can do for a team. They're still waiting on Middleton to return. They have two all stars in Giannis and Drew uh, Holiday. Lockdown on defense from Drew Holiday. Brooke Lopez is contributing, and Giannis is un freaking stoppable. But that is your top five teams in the power rankings, but your player of the week. Again, I don't want to get wrapped up in the one game, but I'm getting wrapped up in the one game. Joel Embiid took the MVP trophy by putting two-time defending MVP uh, Nikola Jokic in a blender, um, embarrassing him on national television and winning the game. So this week's player of the week is Joel Embiid. And you know NBA.com still had Embiid a second. They shouldn't. <laughs> they, they shouldn't. Bro, that's the disrespect for Joel that was, Embiid. That was, that was on, a massacre. On live TV. On live TV. He took it personally. Took it. He took yeah, that personally. He took, he took the person. MVP trophy at that yeah. time. Now, Luca got something to say. luca has been playing very well. Yeah. Jason Taylor's going to have something to say at the end of the year. But right now, as a marquee matchup, watching the game, Joel B took that trophy. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so it's Black History Month. It I'll is. at the Full Sport Press. We're going to be um, honoring and mentioning local businesses in the Nashville area that we like to frequent and mm -hmm. we like to uh, support. Mm -hmm. So this week, we're honoring QC's Kitchen. Yeah. Shout out to Quita Cole. Shout out to Quita Cole. If you're downtown, Peabody Street, check them out, man. You can soul food, Taco Tuesdays. I, I personally select the Cajun pasta, Cajun chicken pasta. Can't miss with that. Yeah. Cannot miss. Turkey legs are fire. And if you're not diabetic, get the Kool-Aid. Get the Kool-Aid. Get the Kool-Aid. Kool 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 yeah. Lamb chops. Lamb go chops. crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy. Lamb chops. Yeah. Yeah. Salmon go crazy. And if it's a cheat day, yeah. honey bun cake. Weezy got a favorite. Get your side of that mac and cheese. Woo! <laughs> Shout to QC's kitchen. Shout to QC's kitchen. Yeah, no ads right there. No ads. No this, ads. Is, this is straight off the field. Yeah, yeah, top of the dome. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to QC. Yeah. You guys ready to get started the second half? Let's do it. Let's get it. Got, got merch on. What's up? Fullsportpresspodcast.com. Get your merch. Get your hats. Get your hoodies. Get your t-shirts. Get your long sleeve tees. We got you covered, man. We got you covered. More stuff on the way. I always tell a friend. <laughs> tell a friend. <laughs> to tell a friend. And we are... Second half Super Bowl 57 breakdown show. Before we get started, I am Jay ho It's your boy Big Jeff. It's your boy Weez. Cameraman, the storylines are endless for Super Bowl 57. Obviously, a matchup. The league's two best teams the entire year, allegedly. <laughs> it's a showdown of all pro quarterbacks and MVP candidates, allegedly. Oh. Not to mention two opportunistic defenses. Super Bowl 57 is said to be a showdown between the Chiefs and Eagles with great players at nearly every position. Here's a look at how each position stacks up between the two teams head-to-head. -head. pre pause There will be plenty of time to take a deeper dive to the February 12th matchup. Here we go with our matchup before we get started. Super Bowl ad costs. We do this every year. Hadn't done it in a while. Mm -hmm. Bringing it back, according to front office sports, 
Fox, the Aaron Network for the big game, set the Super Bowl ad price starting at $7 million Sheesh. for a 30-second window during the game. That is the highest of all time, clearly. If we go back to 2022, $6.5 million. 2021 is 5.6. 2020 was 5.6. Stayed there. Pandemic. They were like, you know what? Let me look out. Yeah. And in look 2019, <laughs> it's 5.2. So we're up to seven million for a thirty second. It up, <laughs> it's no way you get your bang for your buck for that. Yeah, you're not gonna be. You're not gonna be in front of that many eyes. Shit. That's for a thirty second ad, hundred million eyes. You're gonna be in front of that many eyes. Like yeah, you. Yeah, that's worth it. It's worth. That's what I'm saying. Worth, it's worth that. Yeah. yeah. So if you got so, it, so so if I go put put seven million down for the FSP ad, man, we need. We, yeah. Man, we don't that's get an ROI. Man, we don't get that be mad no motherfucker, bro. What? <laughs> I gotta give. Yeah, crazy. I go get. I go get. Go get a bankroll. I get out the bank, and we go. And we don't get. A, uh, I'll be mad. No I'm, I'm gonna be real. You got seven million in the bank. We should be already out. I don't need no zeal yeah. at like that point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, for sure. I'm telling you. Let's I'm kick telling things off with QB one. <laughs> Oh, nobody ever knows it. Apple? (laughs) (laughs) Doritos. Now it's gonna be something stupid like GoDaddy.com or something like that. That's who got. They got the brick. We ain't gonna see no crypto this year though. No, hell no. Crypto, crypto, uh, crypto crypto.com. Mike, they might fight. Sliding. They might fight. Super pop. Yeah. Mm. All right, you guys ready to get started with QB one? We will kick things off with you, Weezy. Who has the edge and why? In this particular game, um, of course, Patrick Holmes is the better quarterback. Patrick Mahomes is the no quarterback. Question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but playing against playing against this secondary with the Eagles. Yeah. Playing against that, that secondary is a veteran uh, secondary. They, mm-hmm. got, they have uh Darius Slay over there. They have Cardinal, Cardinal John and Johnson. Mm-hmm. They, I mean they got a good secondary. Yeah. But Patrick Mahomes ain't playing against no like they playing against three rookies. I mean I uh I'm sorry, Jalen Hurts is playing against three rookies out there. Yeah. I don't want to say he has the edge, yeah. but you can't account for Patrick Mahomes' instincts, man. I'm going to go with Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I almost talked myself into it. Jalen Hurts got to make the throws, though. Got to make the throws. This is the Jeff Ball at QB1. Talk to me, Jeff. If we're going just on sheer talent, it's Patrick Mahomes. Of all time. He's the greatest yeah, quarterback of all Mahomes. time. If it's just quarterback to quarterback, it's Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. But Weezy has some very good points. Right I didn't there. think of it like that. That's yeah. a good point. What yeah, what Weezy was he saying that very I'm still going Patrick Mahomes. Those are very good points, though. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So NFL, I think we deserve this this year. Yeah. You got all pro against all pro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? First Super Bowl matchup between the current seasons, all pro quarterbacks since I think 2016 when Matt Ryan faced Tom Brady. Now, Patrick Mahomes' resume speaks for itself. Jalen Hurts, mm. quarterback, taking the number one seed, regular season, eesh, full second season. You don't really know. But I think <laughs> the Chiefs will undoubtedly be hoping this week between gives them a little bit of an advantage because this guy is supposed to be the guy. This is supposed to be. Just pick I'm guy, just saying. Man. This is supposed to be the guy. So this shouldn't be anybody. Hell, if it was. Jay, come on, man. Give me Patrick Mahomes. He's supposed to be on a different level. Let's see it. Yes. Let's see. I think we've already saw it. You've seen it. He's on different. different You think he's on a different level? Yes, he's on a different level. (laughs) Move right (laughs) along to the weapons. The wide receivers and tight ends. Jeff, who has the edge and why? All right. It's it's the Eagles. It's the Eagles. Right. They they have the weapons <laughs> like they have the healthy weapons mm-hmm. they have they traded for the wide receiver one that they that they needed yep. they had a wide receiver one in training in Devonte smith um they have a solid tight end so give me the eagles when it comes to weapons yeah. uh, you know you can't account for um aj brown mm-hmm. smitty uh the tight end they have the weapons yeah Jalen Hurts is a weapon. Yeah, yeah, he is. Only person, they, only person that. I mean, they have Patrick Mahomes is a weapon, and they have the tight end, your boy Travis Kelsey. Yeah, who's probably one one of the best to play in the game right now. The best in the game. Right yeah, now. but he's also playing with MVS. He's playing uh, Juju, Juju. Juju's hurt. Mm-hmm. Uh, Skyler. Sky Moore. Sky Moore, you know, is a rookie. Never been there. So this edge goes to the Eagles. Yeah. If we're going off the edge now. I don't know if they're gonna perform because they've never been there, but the edge goes to the Eagles. Yeah, yeah. just on paper. That's true. Yeah. yeah, on paper. On paper. Yeah. The Philadelphia did a 
phenomenal job surrounding Jalen Hurts with talent. You know why you have to do that? If because you, your quarterback can't make throws, well, because so you you're a great general manager. That's or, what you're supposed that, to yeah, that's that's what, what you're supposed, supposed to, do. to do. Yeah, you don't trade them. Yeah, you don't you trade. Pay, you don't trade your wide receiver yeah. one for nobody. Yeah. Yeah, and the new guy went for fifteen hundred. The other guy went for twelve hundred. Come on now. Yeah, chief skill players don't seem as daunting. Like if you look at Travis Kelsey, and then you look for sure, and he's unguardable in any matchup at the tight end position. But the big storyline for Kansas City is like Weezy mentioned: McCall Hardman, Juju Smith Schuster, Kadarius Tony all left the AFC Championship game with injuries. That will be tough to overcome if yeah. one, maybe two of those guys are still somewhat favoring that injury. Give me the Eagles though, as far yeah. as the advantage. All right, moving on to the Russian attacks. Wheezy, who has the edge and why? This one, I I think it washed out to me. Mm, it washed out wash. to me. Okay. The rookie from uh, uh, Pacheco. Pacheco. Pacheco from Kansas City is playing just as good as the Eagles running back. Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders is having a good year, but it's not, he's not like. It's better than what Pacheco's doing, though. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I just think it's a wash. I don't okay. think it's that much better. Right. You got it, Jeff. It's the Eagles. Eagles, yeah. Eagles rush. Eagles, Eagles are a run first team. Mm -hmm. Even with the fifteen hundred yard receiver, the twelve hundred yard receiver, they still have. They want to. They want to dominate the offensive line. And the way you dominate the offensive line is to run the ball. Yep. And that's what they do. So RPO. Counting in Jalen Hurts also. Oh heck yeah. yeah, heck yeah. You got to. And yeah. on top of that, they also have. Uh, Kenneth Gainwell. Kenneth Gainwell. They got yeah. Sanders and they got and what's left of Scott. <laughs> and then Boston Scott. Yeah. 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 You got to credit where it's due with the Chiefs. So they recently shown glimpses, like we mentioned, of running the ball at a high level. That's hard, largely due to the pack of Pacheco. But let's be honest with ourselves the advantage is here because the offensive line is great. Kansas City's offensive line isn't as good as Philly. So in turn, it's going to be easier for Miles Sanders. <laughs> And Kenneth Gainwell to get gaping holes like they did against the best defense. <laughs> that ain't the question. Yeah, what you asked? Yeah, you asked about the Russian attack. Yeah, I said the Russian attack. But if you don't have the front line, we talk about that next, though. Now, I know that, but what I'm saying is, if you don't have the the blocking to do that, it makes you could have Saquon Barkley back there. You could have, but if you ain't got nobody blocking for you, then nah, you ain't gonna do nothing. If, if Saquon had for the Eagles, Saquon had two thousand yards and shit. You <laughs> damn they, right. They're, they're Let's talk about the line. Twenty five hundred yards. Speaking of the line, great segue, Weezy. Talk to me. Who has the better offensive line? Eagles by far. Yeah, it ain't even close. Mm -hmm. It ain't even close. And the Chiefs would win as far as an offensive line, and as far as a matchup in the edge department. In most most places. Most places. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, you said that. Like you said they got two potential Hall of Famers. Yeah. on the Eagles line, two yeah. over zero, two wins. So <laughs> yeah, the Eagles offensive line. And two years ago, that Tampa Bay Buccaneers dominated the off the defensive line of the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. They addressed it. Add in Orlando Brown. You add in Orlando Brown, who hasn't played up to his mm -hmm. franchise tag, getting his ass whooped the other night. <laughs> but the unit need to play his best because, dude, it, that Chiefs O line is good, but Phillies. No, it's, it's different. <laughs> Give me the Eagles. Okay. Defensive line. Who <laughs> has the advantage and why? Jeff? It's the Eagles. Mm -hmm. It's the Eagles. They got playmakers everywhere, yeah. dog. Defensive, defensive line. line. They got playmakers yeah. on defensive line. Yeah. And they can rush four or five, maybe six, but they don't have to rush. They don't have to blitz a lot to do this. Mm -hmm. like they can get pressure. And this isn't like they're rushing against their own offensive line. They're rushing against Kansas City line. Mm -hmm. They can get pressure on Patrick Mahomes. He's going to have to hope their ankle sprain is is well to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going for this defensive line. Yeah, Weezy. I'm going with the Eagles. Yeah, Robert Quinn, Hassan Reddick. Yeah, uh, Donovan Sue. Is he there? John yeah, Brandon Smith. Graham. Brandon Graham. Fletcher Cox. Fletcher, Fletcher Cox. Cox. The yeah. legend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, the legend. Those guys are players. I, and uh, oh. Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, been there before. Yeah. yeah. Hassan Reddick is a, is a rookie coming off the edge like that. Yeah. I, I'm rolling with the Eagles. Real quick. You know how you know how far we've come when Dominic and Sue is playing the um, peacemaker? Yeah. Yeah. When the fight is breaking yeah. out at the end of the game. Yeah. yeah he, he, and he, we didn't he, even mention Jordan Davis, who's a rookie. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Man, there's an argument be made, though, that Chris Jones is the best pass rusher in the entire matchup. Okay. That's the argument. The duo Chris Jones, I mean Chris Jones and uh, Frank Clark. Yep. Super scary. But the reason that Weezy mentioned all of those guys, mm -hmm. that's all a part of an entire unit yeah. that is playing lights out right now. Yeah. Even Javon Hargrave, Josh Sweat, who we didn't mention, that doesn't include the vets. 
it's just too big of a daunting yeah. task. That squad is, man, they deep, man. Yeah. So. And see, and Chris Jones is going to go up against Kelsey. Kelsey. No, mm. he's going to go up against the other tackle that that didn't give up that didn't give up anything to Bosa last Lane. week. Yeah. Yeah. Lane Johnson. Yeah. I think his name is Lane Johnson. Yeah. He didn't give up anything to Bosa. Bosa they have zero quarterback kicks, zero z- zero sacks. Yeah. He was everywhere though. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, but that's tough. Until that offensive line is crazy. Mm-hmm. That's a crazy, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. That Chiefs pass rush is good, but the Eagles pass rush is just loaded. Moving on to the linebackers. Wheezy, who has the edge and why? <laughs> Eagles. Mm. It's debatable. Nah, that's not true. Tell me how. Yeah, because I get what you're saying, but they got young guys. Right. They got Nick Bowden, the guy from Missouri. He's mm-hmm. really good. Yeah. And they also have Willie Gay, young guys. But you got to look at the Chief, the Chiefs have the better, better as far as two linebackers, sideline to sideline. Because that defensive line is so crazy, they have chance to just run sideline to sideline and make tackles. They Veterans. did a really good job last week. Veterans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think you can watch this one. Yeah. Um, to me. Because mm. – I know, I see what you. I like what you said about Kansas City. They believe they're flying around, but to me, with Philadelphia, they're it's kind of hard to decipher them to break them down by by three layers of mm-hmm. secondary linebackers in the line because they fly around the ball so much. This is and, the thing. And they move around. Go ahead. They held the Bengals at seventy one rushing yards, yeah. sideline to sideline. Yeah, but that's and, also with pressure too. And they spent. I think the Eagles spent literally all of their money on, on names on the defensive line. Yeah. And they only have Kaiser White and TJ Edwards. That's just if you look at names, just as far as just good names. guys, yeah. that's the weakest department of yeah, the oh, yeah. entire defense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm yeah, on that. So, you, you that's that. I got the Chiefs. The Chiefs on that. Okay. Yeah, I can watch, but the Chiefs make you make a strong argument for the Chiefs. I'm yeah. with you on that. Secondaries. Who has the edge and wide? Jump? The Eagles. The Eagles. The Eagles. Yeah. The players. That's where the star power is. You got is. players yeah. all four positions. Remind me of the mafia. Remind yeah. me of the mafia in their heyday yeah. when we had players. Yeah. We used to have players. Man, y'all had players this year. You had the best secondary. Trey was hurt. Trey, Trey, Trey was hurt. Trey, Trey, Trey and he came back done. and it didn't look like it didn't look like Trey. It didn't Shit, look like Trey him. might be it done. It didn't look like him. It didn't look like Trey him. might be done. Elam looked better than Trey this year. Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> with the Eagles secondary, with yeah, Darius Slay on one yeah. side, who's yeah. a, he can, who's a shutdown corner, shutdown corner. So if he's on MVS, MVS is gonna have a bad day. Look at the guy you bring up. No, I'm just saying that's, that's what, what I'm saying. That's, 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 that's what we got. Yeah, that's what we got a long go day for MVS. I hope, I hope Juju's back. It, it'll be a better, it'll, it'll be, be a better, better matchup. matchup. Yeah, and James Bar- James Bradbury is on yeah. the other side. Cold. Yeah. yeah. Then you that's got even Johnson. worse than MVS. And you got Chauncey Gardner Johnson to yeah. safety. Safety man. He he led the league in picks. That's what I'm saying. They got players. You know what that means? Where if they can put one, one on one on the outside on. with them. Yeah, they can double team Kelsey. Yep, it gives a better chance. Yeah, yeah. and the Chiefs they're not slouches, but you can see there's a big hole. Yeah, missing with Tyron Matthew. Yeah, huge hole, and they're young. So you got Justin Reed, Juan Thornhill. That's a solid combo, but your corners are all HBCU rookies. Yeah, they're, young. Yeah, they're yeah. young boys. They yeah. play it. They don't play with them, no. Yeah, yeah. Joe Burrow tried to play with them. He got that. Yeah. yeah, two picks. Baited them into two picks. Those yeah. young boys playing. On the outside for Kansas City, but the Eagles, man, it's just yeah, loaded. Yeah. They loaded in the secondary. Absolutely. Special teams. This isn't a big thing anymore, but because it could be. But this is the thing. Yeah. People don't really run the ball out of the end zone anymore. True. Punt returns. No, the quarterback's too good. Quarterback, that's too. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, you take the you take the 25 yard line, you get the ball to your quarterback, yep. you yeah. risking yeah. them running out, get the ball to the team, or you or or a fumble or something yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. And you don't get the ball back. Yeah. But kicking. Let's talk it's about kicking, kicking then. I'm going yeah. Booker. Gotta go buck. I'm going buck with kicking. You get him. You get him anywhere on the other side of that fifty. You got a shot. Other yeah. side of fifty. Other side of forty. You got a shot. And then you got Scott Moore's being electric. Scott Scott Moore made a play last on, on week. Special teams. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That was a big deal too. Yeah. So give me the Chiefs. Elliot. Elliot's nine for nine. Not, not a slouch. Elliot, season. Not a slouch. Elliot, yeah, he's a veteran too. Hey. Nine slouch. for nine in the postseason, guys. Now Bucker, he wasn't playing that good during the regular season, mm-hmm. but he. He's he in the postseason. He done, he done found himself. He's he done found, found himself. himself. Yeah, yeah. two fifty yard field goals. Also hit the game winning forty five yard field goal. Who, who, so who y'all giving that one to? I'm going. I'm, KC. Going, I'm going with the Chiefs. I'm going with the Chiefs with that one. Who you got, Weezy? I'm gonna go with the Chiefs too. Yeah. Kick return isn't really a strength. Punt return really a strength. You got Sky Moore is out there, but, but you want to make a play there though. Yeah, you do. You want to make a play there, and then you guys. Let go of Kern. They bring him in. At the Eagles. Yeah, with the Eagles. One of the best. Eagles. I, I forgot about Brett Kern. Yeah. That might not. Nah, I'm going with the I'm going with the Eagles. 
Brett Gurley put the ball on the 10 yard line yeah, and it's going to fall flat right there. Yeah. That's the thing, but he was brought in to replace their punter that was hurt for the second half of the season. He They say he might come back for the Super, for the Super Bowl. Bowl. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Two, two of my boys are going to get Super Bowl rings. Man. Ooh. <sighs> Kept saying it kind of early. Unpredictable with special teams. Moving on to coaching. Oh, oh, who has the edge in coaching? Weezy, we'll kick things off with you. <laughs> of course. I, I, I mean, I'm going to go Andy Reid. You got two weeks to prepare. You got you got the best quarterback in in the game right now, Patrick mm-hmm. Mahomes. But I, that's the part I'm not worried about. What well, the part I'm worried about is how can Steve Spagnuolo slow down this this offense of the of the Eagles? Mm. Spags, yeah, can he do it? He he, he loves to blitz. He does. He loves to blitz. So they're gonna chip Chandler Jones. I don't think they're gonna let Chandler Jones. Not on, Chandler Jones. Christian. I mean Chris, Chris Jones. Jones. I don't think they're gonna. My bad. I don't think they're gonna let Chris Jones beat them in this game. That oh. offensive lineman is good. Uh, but you, and it ain't just the head coach, though. It's the, it's the defensive coordinator. It's the offensive coordinator. Who has the better coaching staff? Right now, I'm going with the Eagles. You're going with the Eagles. What you got, Jeff? Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. My, if it was head coach, head coach, I'm going Andy Reid. Ain't no question. I'm going Andy Reid. Ain't no question. The thing is with coaching staff, to me, to you, Kansas City falls in love with the pass a little too much. I know sometimes they, they use the short passes as run mm-hmm. game and that, and that type of attack. I get it. But they don't know how to keep you honest. Mm-hmm. To me, Philadelphia does enough scheme-wise mm-hmm. to keep you honest on offense, and they coming for your head mm-hmm. on defense. So coaching staff, mm-hmm. Philadelphia. Yeah, I agree. Eagles for me as well because – I think they're the hotter team right now. They're firing on all cylinders, offense, defense, and special teams. And I get it. Andy Reid is Andy Reid. Fourth trip to the Super Bowls, third as the head coach of the Chiefs. I get it. But that duo, Reid and Mahomes, next level, Hall of Fame level. I get that. But, man, those boys in Philly, they are playing lights out right now. I'm going with the Eagles, man. I don't see any team dominate Throughout the postseason, the way the Eagles have dominated since Baltimore, two thousand. I'm talking about they dominate. They've dominated every team. Yeah, now, granted, yeah. it was an injury yeah. that kind of yeah. made that last game look. Yeah, yeah. But, they, know, yeah. but they've but, dominated both sides of the ball. Yes, I, don't I don't think I'm worried about it. This Super Bowl reminds me of that McVay versus Belichick when McVay was a young coach mm-hmm. and Steve Sirianni. He can come in there and not. The yeah. first, like them first fifteen scripts right now, needs to be perfect. Yeah, yeah. Get get, get them boys off to a good start, and don't let them come like start coming from behind. Yeah. I don't know. If they, I don't know. If they, I don't know how, how. I don't know if they can handle that. The boys go for it on fourth down too. It's fourth and uh, one. Yeah. Oh, they're uh, going for it. Uh, that's, that's what happens when you have a when yeah. you have yeah. that, that offensive line sneak. and that running game. They quarterback sneak is rough. Man, <laughs> man, that offensive line. I'm talking about fourth and two. They fourth and right three. They going for it. How y'all feel about the um like uh, quarterback sneak? I hate it. The, the, the push from the back. Yeah, that's bullshit. But they need to take that out the game, man. The push, push, push. The push and the and the pick plays. I hate those. Yeah, it's already hard to play defense. If you yeah. if you're allowed to push somebody behind me, they got to fix do, that. Yeah, they got to fix the yeah. push. Yeah, the pick plays ain't nothing you can really do about you can. that. You can do something. You can take the pick plays out. Put in the game if you if you want a challenge, get your challenge back. Yeah, they already have that, don't they? No, no. You save a variation of it. Yeah. Hmm. They got yeah. Oh shit, they can't take that out. <laughs> Moving on to the last of the mall. Okay. Winner and MVP. Before we get started, let me go. Super Bowl MVP odds. Guys, first edge you can get as far as betting right now. I'll give those odds in a few. But Super Bowl MVP, you gotta choose probably from a winning team. Offensive players won MVP Super Bowl 46 times. It's 82%. Super Bowl MVP has gone to a quarterback 31 times, guys. The only person that didn't win the game and still won MVP, 1971, Cowboys linebacker Chuck Howley. Chuck. Won it without winning the Super Bowl. All right. Odds. Jalen Hurts plus 110 right now. Okay. Patrick Mahomes plus 125 right now. Okay. Travis Kelsey plus 1,100. Jeez. A.J. Brown plus 1,400. Devontae Smith plus 2,500. Miles Sanders plus 3,000. So, give me your winner and your Super Bowl MVP. We'll start off with the winner, Jeff. Kansas City. Winner of the Super Bowl or my Super Bowl MVP? <laughs> winning the game. 
Kansas City. Yeah. Kansas City. Okay. By Look. score? On score? Give me a score. Kansas City 28-24. Now let's 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 think about this real quick. Okay. We went we went through what? One, two, three. Yeah, maybe ten, right? Yeah, ten. Yeah. So I write it down. The Eagles were better in six categories. Yeah. Out of the ten. Yep. Six out of the ten. But listen to the categories. Defensive line. Mm-hmm. Offensive line. Yes. Yeah, talking to the back, you stupid and facts. Defensive line, yeah. offensive line, special teams, yeah. coaching, weapons, and rushing attack. Yeah. How do you pick against that? That's tough, man. Every division, I mean, every 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 thing on, on that team. How how you go against that? Now, you got Patrick Mahomes the got, same way. See, so yeah, that's the big go thing. Go ahead, Jay. I don't want to cut y'all. QB one, QB one can change everything. everything. I get what you're saying though, because I agree. The same way. Seattle had better running game, better defense, better secondary. But when it came down to it, New England was right there, and they made the play to beat them. Mm. Man, it's I, hard to go against the Eagles, man, because, I listen, on paper it's the Eagles. On paper it's the Eagles. I'm thinking definitely. after they settled down and they just got to play football, yeah. their offensive line, defense line, just do what they've been doing, Yeah, and they're going to set put pressure on Patrick Mahomes, I'm going with the Eagles to win the game. And last week – he was the only person that picked the Eagles to win against San Francisco. Okay. Yeah, he said, and he, we and we laughed because he said it was a blowout. It was twenty four ten. He picked the twenty four to ten. I thought I picked the Eagles in the close one. You might have. I was I saying I the, the way he the picked, but yeah, 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 he beat the blowout though. He yeah. called it. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. granted, it was an injury that yeah, caused the blowout, uh, it but was it was a blowout. Never. It was coming either way. I don't think it was a blowout. It was on y'all. We was gonna head. win by seven. We gonna lose by seven. It was on y'all head. No, yeah, no. But you gotta realize we had no juice after that. After we saw Buddy go out, it was yeah. We saw Josh Johnson. Josh Johnson. Yeah. We saw Josh Johnson roll on out there. Yeah. But who, give me a score, Weezy. Man, I really don't know about this. 34 32. Damn. Eagles. Oh, you maybe a, a 34 32 can happen. Yeah, maybe a safety or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Anything. Yeah, 32 can it's, gonna, it's gonna be some misfield though. Something's gonna happen in that game. Yeah. And uh to, yeah. I wonder if the quarterbacks is gonna win MVP. I well, we'll see. get to the MVP, Paul. Yeah. We just picking. Um I'm going to the Eagles. I just don't. Man, know this is tough. For me. I just don't know how you can pick against all those different variations of the game. We broke down every skill position, every facet of the game, and the Eagles came out on top of most of those. I just think you got to be there, and I think with the fact of everybody not being there on that Eagle side, your quarterback can't really play at a high level. I'm going with the Chiefs winning 31 28. You see, what you said right there is 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 right. Yeah. Jalen Hurts ain't never been there. Yeah. In the Super Bowl, yeah. he got to play at a high level. Yeah. But the way that dude gets focused, that boy still got that Nick Saban in him, man. Yeah. The way that he's an he's automatic leader, I don't think the big woman going to scare him. I don't either. Man, I, don't think he, I don't think he'll be scared, but and this I, is the thing. He can't play, though. And I'll, I'll oh, just, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. We watched him last week. Uh, Let's talk about it. Uh, no, 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 we, we, we don't got to do that. He, did, he didn't play good last yeah. week. No, he didn't have a good game last that week. Man's he redeemed, he, he, man. If he played like he played last week, he did him wrong in Alabama. Yeah. He redeemed. He redeemed himself. If he played like he played last week, they'll lose. They try to get rid of him in Philadelphia. He redeemed himself again. The kid yeah. the kid is a leader. The kid is special. Oh. Yeah. Jeff, give me your MVP. Travis Kelsey. <laughs> two touchdowns. <laughs> two receiving. One, two receiving. One rushing. No tight end has ever won. Super Bowl MVP. Two receiving, one rushing. Calling it now. I got Travis Kelsey winning MVP as well. I'm going to go Jalen Hurts. Mm -hmm. Rushing yards. Yeah, if they win the game. Because I don't think that he's going to try to audible or do nothing out of the ordinary. Because if he go behind the offensive line, he's going to run the exact play. He's going to get his rushing yards. He's going to run out of bounds. He's not going to do too much. Tell you what scares me about this Eagles, me not picking the Eagles. That offensive line. Hey, man. It's crazy, the man, the shit that Miles Sanders had to run and our D and against our defense. Now, granted, our defense was sad. Yeah, I yeah. saw the real like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like we sad, but man, that offensive line of the Eagles is premier. My Total. thing is, you know, we talk about we talk about QB ones all year long, mm-hmm. but to me, nothing wins football this time of year more than defense and running the ball. Yeah. And yes, I picked Kansas City, but Philadelphia plays defense. And they run the ball, and, and that's what keeps gonna keep them in any game they play. <laughs> any game this time, yeah. yeah. It, it wouldn't surprise me though if it's fourth and twelve, and he 
Patrick Mahomes sometimes mm-hmm. he got the ball, he he gets the fourth down, yeah, and then boom. Now we'll talk about legacies probably after this, weeks after the Super Bowl. But man, the pressure is on Patrick Mahomes, which is insane. But the, it is. the pressure is on Patrick Mahomes. There's no pressure on Jalen Hurts. I think it's he's playing with house money. Jalen Hurts is playing with house money, guys. No, the pressure's on Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. Andy Reid's been to Super Bowl. No, 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 this is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you, the pressure's on on Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes because people, he's the MVP. And Andy Reid's been here, what, four times? He's only won one. No, the pressure's on them. This, this on is the fourth time. Yeah, this, yeah, this so, is the fourth time. Yeah, this this, is the, fourth this time. Super Bowl reminds me of. Yeah. Third time. Fourth. It, 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 it kind of reminds me of. Fourth total. One with the I'm Eagles. Sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, this Super it reminds me of the Cam Newton versus Peyton in some kind of when Cam Newton had that big year yeah. coming out. Jalen Hurts had that big year, yeah, and he ran up against Peyton. Well, Peyton, Peyton was the same Peyton back yeah, then, Peyton, though. Nah, Peyton, yeah, Peyton. he ran up against Von Miller. He, he, he didn't run up against Peyton. Yeah, he ran up against Von Miller. Yeah, that, that arm was like Peyton. Arm was like my dog. Yeah. Was like Brock Purdy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the only year in them. He played year. second year in them. That was the second year. I could be wrong. Anyway, go. He played. Yeah. Them. He couldn't throw the ball down. He couldn't. He couldn't throw twenty yards. Yeah, no. Yeah. Over over turnovers is over under turnovers is five and a half. It's gonna be over under five and a half. No, 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 no. That's the thing about the Eagles. They don't turn over the ball. So under, I say under. It should under be under five, five and a half. Yeah, turnovers. under five and a half. Yeah. yeah, that's a good bet. I like that bet. That's a good bet. And that is the Super Bowl breakdown for Super Bowl Fifty Seven. Yes, sir. I'm excited about that. I wish they played tomorrow. Or yeah, right, it's, coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, but yeah, it was yeah. Sunday. Pro Bowl yeah. flag football. Yeah. Woohoo! And that went bad. It went bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man. Man, that, that's coming up this week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that breakdown, if you look at it, the the things that they want, yeah. as far as each oh, yeah. his on weapons paper, it, yeah. on paper, it should be an Eagles. It should be a blowout. It should be an easy win for the Eagles. It paper. should be an easy win for the Eagles. Yeah. But that's why they play. That's why they play the game? Play the game. Shout out to twenty. No, nah, <laughs> never shout no, out to no, twenty. No, never. Any Kansas City fans? Shout out to Probably. um. Crockett, Crockett, Crockett day, day, a lifelong KC fan. Hold Man, on. Big Hassan, yeah, Big Hassan sure is. Big Hassan, KC fan. Yeah. Um, um, uh, Camille, Camille, yep. Camille, yep. big time Kansas City fan. Yeah. I don't know about sister. I don't know about sister. No, you don't either, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Camille, it's Camille. Yeah, yeah, it's Camille. Yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, yeah. excited for all the fan bases. Crockett about a championship ring. He bought a championship ring for the Chiefs. A replica. A replica ring? Spend, spend, spend big money on that ring. Really? Do he wear it? Nah, he don't leave the house. He don't leave I got to mess with Crockett about <laughs> that. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to text Crockett about that. All right, before Next, we go. Eagles fans, fuck y'all. Oh, wow. Okay. B- before we go, it's uh, it's February. Yeah. The love month. Oh, okay. The love month. The love month. It's the year of the lover. All right, we're going to go each week. This week, we're going to go R&B song that you like or, you know, one of them songs. You ain't got to be a favorite, but, 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 but one of them songs you, you might sing in the shower or something like that. Okay. R. Kelly is omitted. Oh, oh yeah, you can, Lord. You, you, you ain't got to mention R. Kelly. We know. He's dead. Yeah, I mean, you ain't got to mention R. Kelly. Okay. Kick things off, Weezy. Weezy. Yo, yo, yo. This your this house? Yeah. What's your song? Oh man, I I'm a low key big uh, Avant fan, man. Man, I see. Yeah, you follow Weezy on Instagram. Yeah, he been dropping some Avant. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with uh, Avant. Read your mind. I can read <laughs> your mind, babe. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Go and tell her. Yeah. It's all right with me. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. That's a sleeper though. Yeah, that's yeah. a good Avant a sleeper. Jeff. I'm going with new, newer, a newer record. Okay. Young Steve Lacey. I wish I knew. I wish I knew. I ain't never heard that I song. I wish I knew you wanted me. You ain't heard that song? Yeah, before? you heard that song. I ain't never heard it. Yeah, you heard that Is song. it on 2K or something? That Bad Habit song? Yeah, it's Bad Habit. It's got Bad Habit. It's a yeah. Bad Habit. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want you to go older than that, Jeff. You got to go older than that. <laughs> Oh, that's what I'm listening to right now. Wow. And go genuine so anxious. Like, that's cliche. So, mine will be Bryson Tiller Exchange. <laughs> you didn't think about it. I did. That's a good one. That's, that's my one. That's your one. Lacey, my one. Who you got, come man? Who you got? 
about you talk about everything else? Come on, you want to who you got? I got uh. Look, look, he, look, the lights off. People yeah. bright. Scissor. He talked the whole show. Come on. Scissor. I don't give him nothing. Oh, shit. There it is. And there it is. What about Coach Lock pick? Coach Lock. Coach, Coach Lock is picking. Nah, don't do my boy. Nah, nah, don't do my boy. Coach Lock is picking. I'm going to pick Coach Lock. Coach Lock will pick. I said Jagged Edge. Nah, 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 nah. Really, I got to talk about that Jagged Edge song. It's really disrespectful about Let's Get Married. That's some bullshit. Get what he said. Said I done it all. Yeah, bro, he said he done it all. Right. And for frankly, girl, girl, I'm tired of this emptiness. emptiness. Come on, nah. He I want to come it. home to you and only you. Well, you being the rest of the time. <laughs> you know. I'm just saying. So, I would say, Coach Lock. I'm going uh, old school. Oh, yeah. He, he go Lenny old school. Lenny Williams. Oh, shit. I yeah. love you. <laughs> Oh, if that's the case, how did you? I'm going to the Commodores, then. Yeah, we're going to Zoom. Yeah. We're going to Zoom by the Commodores. Oh, Gone, man. Yeah. All right, that's right. Tweet some questions. Tweet us some questions throughout the week at Full Sport Press. Don't forget to comment, give us a thumbs up on the YouTube page, on the iTunes page. Please rate, subscribe, and more importantly, don't forget to tell a friend. To tell a friend. Tell a friend. Weezy. Everything paid for. Jeff. Camera's always on, brother. Cameraman, the revolution will be podcasted. We are out. Press podcast. To catch up on previous episodes, please check out the YouTube page and wherever you find your favorite podcast. Don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend. The revolution will be podcasted.